Well, we got some exciting news tonight. We got some great products in the mail. And uh, some of you know about my ProMaster 50. Well, the exhaust on it is totally shot. And to buy a new muffler from Gravely costs like $450. I was able to find an NOS muffler on eBay for a little over $100. So I had to buy it. So I'm very happy about that. So let's open it up and uh, scope it out. Well, let's see what we got in here. Let's see. Oh yeah, check that out. It even has a Gravely part tag on it. That's hot. Let's see what it says on here. It was a 16 horse Kohler, yeah, and it was Taylor's Outdoor Power Equipment, Westminster, Maryland, and uh, doesn't have a date or anything. I was kind of interested in, oh, that bet, no, that's the part number. Yeah, but anyways, that thing is mint. So, for, for those of you that aren't familiar with the ProMaster 50, it has this big pipe here, which is like an inch and a quarter, instead of the regular inch pipe. And in the back here, it has this flange, which bolts under the bottom of the engine onto a, like a skid plate. And uh, on mine, the whole thing is rotted out, but... The biggest problem here is that this whole end cap is missing. So, a while ago it broke off right here, and a buddy of mine at the time had come over and welded it with a torch while it was on the machine for me. So, yeah, mine is shot, but this is really nice, and uh, I'm interested in what's actually in this thing. Like, is there actually anything in there that muffles it, or is it just, or is it just a freaking tube? Well, anyways, yeah, we'll put that on this weekend. And the ProMaster 50 also had a blown mower deck belt, and I have a new belt to put on it, so we'll be in pretty good shape. Well, guys, the ProMaster 50 needs a little bit of uh, repairs here. I'm not even going to call it maintenance. I'm just going to call it repairs. So we got the blown uh, deck belt down here. That's the first uh, item of order here. <clears throat> got to make sure that these things are tensioned right and uh, the deck is seeing better days clearly you see this big hole in it I don't even care I'm just gonna let that be for now believe it or not this deck cuts better than any other 50 inch deck that I have even though it's in the roughest shape so someday I'll get a new deck shell for it but for now we're just gonna leave that and uh, the other major problem is the muffler and this muffler here, you see the whole back is missing, and I can't get into the front there, but yeah, there you go. The whole front is torn off. So basically, I got to pound this old one off of this freaking thing somehow. It's probably not going to be easy. I have a feeling that some major uh, chiseling and grinding and cutting is going to be involved. But that's going to be what I want to try to do here. And... Uh, you know, that will be step one. So I'm going to get a, what do they call it, a BFH, big F hammer, and start pounding on it and uh, see if we can get it off. If that doesn't work, we'll be using a cutoff wheel. All right, let's see what happens here. This big hammer, 32 ounce. Believe it or not, the muffler's twisting. It's not coming loose. There we go. That wasn't so bad. 
Look at this thing. There's nothing left to that thing, man. It's shot. So, can I salvage this clamp is the question. You probably should purchase a new uh, clamp at the auto parts store. What I'm going to do is take a little bit of uh, emery cloth here and just clean off that pipe a little bit before we hook up the new muffler. And back here there's a bolt that is supposed to go onto the muffler. That bolt was missing on the original muffler. It was never there. It was rotted off when I got it. So um, let's see what we can do. All right, I couldn't find some emery cloth, so I just got a piece of sandpaper. And we'll just clean this up a little bit. All right, now, this is the new muffler here, which is pretty mint, NOS score on eBay. Still has a Gravely shipping tag on it. So we'll see if we can get all this tape off and stuff. Oh. Crap's on there, good. The sole has got like a dot matrix printer paper under there. And uh, basically I just got to get this up over that. Which might be harder than I think it is. Before I do that I want to get this bolt out back here. Looks like I need a 916 wrench so let me go get that. Got a lock nut on it. All right, so we got a bolt, we got a spacer, and then the nut. I think I'm going to put a flat washer on before the nut goes on. And uh, this is really proven tough to put on. I think I'm going to put some uh, grease on here. And I also think I'm going to sand this down a little bit more. Because it does not want to go on easily. I'm kind of scared about hammering that brand new muffler. I don't want to damage it. Yeah, this is pretty good. Ah, the exhaust pipe is so hot, I can't even touch it. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. Let's see how this will go down. Yeah. I don't think grease will matter. Let's see. Oh, there we go. See, I just have to get it up high enough so the spacer will fit in there. I gotta go a hair more. There we go, perfect. This bolt will go right up in there. Oh, perfect. I just gotta get a flat washer and put it on there. Now, can I save this old clamp? I don't know. This thing is so hot.
If I can get those nuts off, I doubt it. Those threads are like non-existent. I'll bring it inside and put it in the vise and see if I can get those two nuts off. But if not, not a big deal. I'll just buy a new clamp tomorrow at the auto parts store. So let me get a washer and then we'll uh, put that lock nut back on and get it back together. All right, shockingly, the clamp came right off. I don't know how that happened, but it did. So I'm gonna put this washer back here on this bolt, and then I'm gonna put this nut on there. Let's see what we got. That's tight. Now see if we can get this clamp on the muffler up here. I have a feeling the threads deep aren't good on this thing. So it really wasn't tight before. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we're close. I might be getting a new clamp after all. Yeah, this clamp is shot. So tomorrow morning I'll go to Napa and I'll score a clamp. Ow, it's hot. Damn. Get this thing off of here. Usually you can never reuse a muffler clamp, especially when it's 30 years old. If you ever tried to use one on a car that's 10 years old, they never work right again. So, let alone a 30-year-old tractor. Alright, well let's uh, fire it up and see how it sounds. I bet it's going to sound pretty good nice and quiet. Let's see if we can get it going again. It's too dark to do the belt tonight. Let's look at this old muffler a little more and it's still hot but uh, basically the whole end cap here blew off one day and uh, because of that it really wasn't doing a damn thing and uh, you know, I'm not really sure what's inside it I think that there's just basically a pipe that goes through it I'm not sure but um, a while ago it broke off over here where it attached to the upright pipe and 
buddy of mine came over with an oxyacetylene torch and he welded it back together using a freaking coat hanger. And it worked for four years, five years, it was strong. Even now when I pounded it off, his weld didn't break. Pretty impressive, but yeah, he literally just busted out an oxyacetylene torch and a coat hanger and he welded it in there for me. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, this will go in the scrap metal pile. This is probably about two cents worth of metal. Hooray for scrap metal. But uh, yeah, I'll get that clamp tomorrow at Napa and uh, then we'll throw that mower deck belt on and we'll be back in action again. I can't wait.